In this lesson, we will learn how to indent a task and out indent a task in a project schedule using Microsoft Project. This should work for all versions starting from Microsoft Project 2013. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I publish a new video. Here we start with a very simple basic project schedule that has just been converted from a simple list to having a structure. If you want to understand this structure, we can insert the outline level column. To do that, we can click on the task name right here, the heading, and then right click and go to insert column. And then we're going to type in outline level. And then enter. And then we can make this a little bit less wide. And I'm going to put it in the middle or center it. All right, so this gives us our structure of our schedule. So most of our tasks, our subtasks, are at level three right here. And then our top task is at level one, and everything else is below that at a higher level, twos or threes. We don't have fours in this schedule. So that kind of gives you an idea of our structure. And so what we need to understand now is that we want to choose what task we want to indent. So let's start playing around with the indenting and outdenting task. First, we will learn how to indent. To do that, we need to identify tasks that we want to indent. So right here, I entered this new task in the schedule. It's engineering documents, and then different types of documents I want in this aircraft modification that needs all this document. To indent, you can indent one at a time, or you can indent all of them all at once. To indent one at a time, we select the task right below the summary task or the major task where we want to indent it. So to do that, now we go to the tab task, and then we go to the schedule section of the tab, and then we right here we have the outdent task and the indent task. If I hover over it, it says indent task. You can use Alt plus Shift plus Right on your keyboard to indent it quickly as a shortcut. And then this task becomes a subtask. Creating a hierarchy will help you better organize your task. So that's what we're trying to do. We click on indent task, and now we have this task indented. If we want to indent all of them under there, all these other tasks in there, we can easily highlight all of them and then go ahead and go to the tab task and then hit the indent task button. So click on it. And now we have all of these tasks right under our major task or summary task engineering document. So as you can see here in the outline structure, we can see that now that engineering documents, it's still at a level three, like all the other tasks above it, but the subtask below are at level four. So we know that they are subtasked to this task above it. So now to learn how to outdent. Before we continue, I want to tell you that you are doing a great job, okay? Just keep going. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell so I can continue making these great videos and you will be notified immediately after I publish them. Now we will learn how to outdent this task. First, identify the task you want to outend. We can do this one at a time or as a group. So I'm going to choose this section again that we've been working on, and I'm going to choose the last task to outend. We can go up to our tab task and then click on outend. So if I hover over it before I click on it, see that it says outend task. You can use all shift left buttons on your keyboard as a shortcut to do it quickly. This task may become a summary task, so you just need to be aware of that. And then creating a hierarchy will help you better organize your task. So that's what we're trying to do. So we're gonna click on outdent, and you can see now that this task has become outdented. We can do it as a group again. We highlight all the tasks that we want to outdent, and then we click on outdent task. And now we are back where we started. In this lesson, you learned how to indent and outdent tasks in Microsoft Project. 